In this video, we look at how to draw and interpret simple state transition diagrams and state transition tables for finite state machines with no output and with output. A finite state machine, or FSM, is a model of computation. We use finite state machines to design computer programs and sequential logic circuits. It isn't a real machine, but rather an abstract model of how a machine reacts to external events. A finite state machine can be in any one of a finite number of states at a given time. It changes from one state to another based on a trigger condition, an event or an input. To help visualize a finite state machine, we can draw what's called a state transition diagram. A state transition diagram shows all the states a finite state machine can exist in, along with the various triggers that cause it to transition from one state to another. A finite state machine has several states. It can only ever exist in one of these states at a time. States are represented by circles with a text label inside. In this example state transition diagram, the finite state machine can exist in one of the possible states we're calling S1, S2, S3 and S4. One of these states needs to be the start state, the state the finite state machine is in when it begins. We represent the start state with an arrow coming in from nowhere. One or more states may be what we call an accept state, and these are donated by a double circle. In the example, states S3 and S4 are possible accept states. We will explain how accept states work in more detail later on. States are joined together by transitions, which are represented by arrows and allow us to move from one state to another. Each transitional arrow must have a transition condition, the conditional input that triggers the machine to move to another state, following the direction of the transition arrow. Here is an example state transition diagram for a safe or vault. The safe can be in one of three states at any time, open, closed or locked. This finite state machine starts in the open state. Which states can transition to each other? And what conditions trigger a state to transition to another state? Well, it should be fairly obvious now by looking at the diagram. It's also possible to represent a finite state machine as what we call a state transition table. You need to be able to produce a state transition table from a state transition diagram and vice versa in the exam. The list of available states is shown in the leftmost column and each state has its own row in the table. The columns represent the various inputs or triggers. If an input causes a state to transition, we write the new state in the appropriate cell where the row and column intersect. Here we can see that the lock safe input causes the closed state to transition to the locked state. In the exam, you'll also need to be able to understand and interpret mealy machines. A mealy machine is simply a finite state machine with an output. The outputs are determined by both its current state and the current input. As with a standard finite state machine, for each state and input, there can only be one possible transition. In this diagram, the inputs are being shown in red and the outputs are being shown in blue. We start at state 1, the start state, as indicated by the arrow coming in from nowhere. Remember, the outputs are determined by both its current state and the current input. So the current state is at state 1, and the input is 0, 
that's the red number, and the output is zero, that's the blue number, then we transition to state two. If the current state is one, and the input is one, the red number, then the output will be zero, blue number, and will transition to state three. This is the finite state machine for one of the basic logic gate symbols. Pause the video and see if you can work out which one by following the logic of the diagram through. So this finite state machine represents an exclusive OR or XOR gate. As a reminder, an XOR gate gives an output of one or true if one and only one of the two inputs are one or true. Working through this finite state machine, you can see the operation of the XOR gate. Starting at state 1, we supply 0 as an input, taking us to state 2. We then supply a second 0. 0 and 0 gives us 0 with an XOR gate, and indeed, that is what the finite state machine outputs. Once again, let's start at state 1 and supply 0 as an input, taking us to state 2. This time, however, let's apply 1 as an input, taking us to state 3. 0 and 1 gives us 1 with an XOR gate. And again, this is exactly what the finite state machine outputs. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is a finite state machine? What is a state transition diagram? What is a melee machine? And what is the relationship between these three?